What's up, SEO pros? Welcome back. Chase Reiner here. And today we are going to be talking about AI content. It's been a topic that a lot of people are absolutely losing their minds about. And some people on one side say that it doesn't work. The other people on the other side say that it works super well. And that's why I'm testing it for you so you don't have to guess. Now, just to give you an update, the website that we're working with, my client's website, we have been using AI content on and it is ranking on the first page for pretty much all of its main keywords. Now, you're, it's up to you to draw your own conclusions, but in my opinion, it does work. How long it's gonna work, I'm not sure. I just know that it works right now. So I'm gonna go in to a real client's website. We have another client that we're working with. Uh, one client paid me $1,500, another client paid me $2,400. And that's why I do this. I wouldn't do services if it wasn't to show you that it can be possible for you to do it. Frankly, I make a lot more money selling courses and tools and a bunch of other things and doing affiliates than I, than I do from services. But I would rather show you how to work with a real client and how to do this stuff because in my opinion, the quickest way to financial freedom if you're working a nine to five job is to start working with clients. And that's why I do this. So if you're new here, welcome. And you wanna start earning money online. It's completely possible. That's basically all I try to show you here is how to leave your nine to five job or how to get enough financial independence that you can pretty much work whenever you want, wherever you want, with who you want, okay? Now, I have a tool that I'm building called Shine Ranker. You can go grab a free trial to Shine Ranker. It's a 10-day free trial at shineranker.com, or you can go to the link in the description and you can get our annual pass, which is on sale right now. It's not normally this cheap. Normally, the annual pass is over $2,000 but you can grab it right now for $297 a year, which breaks down to about $24.99 per month, okay? If you grab the annual pass right now, you're going to also get access to all of the updates that I'm creating, one of which is this AI content generator that I'm gonna show you today. The whole point of this tool, the reason why I'm building it is so that you don't have to go and buy a bunch of other tools. Why? Because when I started out, I had to go and buy 50 tools in order to do SEO. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to eliminate that problem and have all of the tools in one place with one UX, one login, one framework, right? So that way I'm not jumping around between all these different tools, okay? So I'll demo the tool. I'm going to show you the new generator. Uh, the AI generator will be rolled out today. So you're going to have it if you're already a part of the tool. If you're not a part of the tool, again, go grab the 10-day free trial or grab the annual pass. But again, if you are waiting, you're on the fence, you're like, I don't know if I want the annual pass or not, just know that it's not going to be on sale forever. We don't, we don't have these sales um, all the time, okay? And I don't know if the price is going to always be this price, which is $297 a year. It's a really good price. If you're looking at most SEO tools, you're probably paying that per month, okay? So you're saving thousands of dollars in the long run, and you're getting grandfathered in, meaning that you pay $297 right now, for the yearly plan, you're also paying that next year as well if you decide to keep the tool. It's a pretty good deal, okay? So I try to make it competitive in pricing. I try to make it competitive in all the features that it has. I don't know any tools right now that have keyword research, traffic checks, site audits, um, content editor on page optimizer, and AI content generators all in one. So this tool is starting to become actually unique. And uh, we have tons of new updates planned for it as well, like a lead generation tool and a bunch of other cool stuff. So again, go to the link in the description um, to go grab the annual plan if you want to. All right, what's going on? We got Rainer in here, Rainer and Reiner. I truly appreciate your honesty. This comes from the heart. Thank you, Rainer. Uh, Jayant says, hi, Chase. Do you have a video on your holistic client, uh, doctor client for optimization? Yeah, I actually did a whole playlist of me doing all the SEO for that client. Um, if you go through my old videos, you'll see. Uh, us starting out with the optimizations and then ranking them and getting paid a bunch of money to do that. Jay Golden says, grabbed it last night. Awesome. Good to hear that. Hopefully you love it. Uh, Jan says, hi, Chase. Oh, you just asked that. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to do a screen share and take a sip of that water. And if you're just tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Always love hearing where you guys are where you guys are from. I'm bringing this open on my phone because usually I have my desktop with two screens, but right now I only have one. So I have to I have to do this on my phone. So sorry about that.
Give me one second. I, I always forget to do this beforehand. I should just do this beforehand. Hi, what AI robot is the best? Um, well, they all really come from the same technology. They're all with, they're all, they all use GPT-3. So I don't know if there's really a best. It's just, which one do you want to use? Because they all have the same technology. All right. Join with my phone. Now I can see the chat. I'm going to share my screen right now. Sorry for spamming. I thought you wouldn't answer. Rainers from Spain. Awesome. Drew's from Ohio. When is the AI tool dropping for current Shine Ranker members? So it rolls out today uh, before the end of the day. I'm not exactly sure on the exact time. My developer told me that it would be rolled out sometime today. So I'll make sure to announce it when it's out. Love from India, Bithika, what's going on? Hey Chase, Jordan here in the UK. I literally just got home from closing a client on a $3,600 website and SEO. Thanks buddy, awesome. Let me know how you did that. Did you take one of the courses? Did you use the tools? Um, I love hearing the reviews. And honestly, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna do a review contest again because it did so well last time where if you guys leave reviews about the tool or anything that I've taught you and uh, it helped you make money or be, su be successful, I'm gonna enter you into a drawing and I'm gonna pull people out of the drawing and at random and give them prizes. So that's what we did last month and I gave over a thousand dollars in prizes. William says, these lives are awesome, Chase. It's a lot more motivating. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, William, for being here. I wouldn't be able to do it without you showing up. Drew says, I love his honest answer about um, all AI robots having the same GPT tech. So many others would have tried to boost up the product. And that's what I try to tell you guys as much as possible. Like even with my tool, I tell you that, you know, the tool really is still in its early stages. You know, it's not a giant corporate tool that's making millions of dollars yet. And so I try to price it and I try to make it marketed as what it actually is. I'm not trying to make it this crazy thing that's going to save the world. Okay. Eventually, maybe it'll get to that point. But right now, it's just a tool made by someone that had a lot of different tools at one point and decided, look, I don't want to have to have all these tools. I'd rather put everything in one place. And I'm building and learning just like you are. Um, you know, everything that I put into the tool is like, let's see how it goes. And uh, the tool is getting better and better, but it's not, um, you know, it's not like a giant corporate tool yet that has a huge team of developers. You know, I have like three or four developers. Okay. So try to be as honest as possible with you. And uh, I want to build with you and help you not only be successful, but um, be a part of something great. Jingling says it is also in Dutch because the translation can be much better. I'm not sure what we're talking. Oh, GPT-3. What are we talking about? Where am I right now? I am at my um, Airbnb. I recently decided to put a bunch of my stuff in storage in California and I started traveling and we were, I, well, what, what I decided to do is we wanted to um, start traveling towards from California here, let me go like this. From California, over here, to uh, to Texas, or sorry, to Florida. We were going to go all the way um, at the bottom of the map. And then what happened is we wound up in Arizona. I liked it a lot. My family likes it a lot. So we kind of just posted up here. We might keep traveling. Not really sure yet. What's going on is mail from Algeria. Does the AI feature have a limit of words? Not yet. And that is something that we're trying to figure out because right now we're not going crazy in terms of all the API calls. Um, eventually, as we get more users and we start seeing, you know, how much people are using the tool, we'll probably have to put a roof on some, on some of the stuff because right now pretty much everything in the tool is unlimited. So at some point we're probably, you know, depending on how much people use the tool, we're going to have to have some sort of limit, but haven't figured that out yet. This was done by using the SEO content that you provided with the Shine Ranker in the pre-Xmas sale. Awesome. So if you could 
just make a post in the Shine Ranker group and let me know that and I will enter you in. I think I'm gonna give away at least over a thousand in prizes. I think we'll start it next month because I'm giving away a thousand over a thousand just for the last competition that I was doing, which ends on the 30th. Step by step, it's better at the end, right? Um, getting better at the end. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Saad, Saad from Germany. Does your tool have the rewrite option? How about the updates? Uh, we don't have a rewrite option yet. We just generate paragraphs. Um, eventually, maybe we'll have something that actually rewrites the content as well. Drew says, one thing that impressed me about Chase was Grant Cardone was listening to one of his webinars and Grant jokingly said, switching from real estate to SEO, that was a high praise. Wait, Grant Cardone was listening to one of my, no way. I don't believe that. Oh, oh, you know what? That was Paul James. That's funny. <laughs> that wasn't Grant Cardone. <laughs> Paul James was trolling me and he made his name uh, Grant Cardone. Uh, I meant he, <clears throat> I meant the editor for Shine Ranker. It's English and a few Dutch words. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know if it works in other languages yet. We're going to have to find that out. Jingling says, is the 297 for the early bird still the same price or is it going up? Uh, 297 right now. Um, I think we're going to have to make it go up very soon because I keep giving people the option to get it at that price, the 297 price. But the thing is, is that at some point we're going to have to raise it um, just because of all the features they are going to start getting really expensive. So we, it's kind of impossible to keep it at a low price at a certain point. Um, so yeah. Martin. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <clears throat> I wish Paul was on here right now. I'd call him out on it. Uh, didn't know there was a Shine Ranker group. I need to join. Thanks for mentioning it. Yeah. So if you just go to um, Facebook and type in Shine Ranker community, it's a free Facebook group and you can join it and participate and ask questions. We do giveaways, all that good stuff. So no grant grandfathered what you said before. Um, well, if you get the 297, you get grandfathered into the 297 for next year. That's kind of how it works. All right, so let me share my screen. We need to work on a client's project before we get to ADD. So we're gonna work on a national website this time. And uh, recently we've been working on the uh, local nursery website. Let me show you some of the rankings here with the AI content, just so you guys can see. So um, they wanted to rank for, one of them was Santa Barbara, here, let me do a private tab, Santa Barbara Nursery. So they're ranking number one in the maps now, and they're on the first page now, which is cool. Um, that just happened like yesterday or something. Let's go check out, I think it was Fruit Trees, Santa Barbara, that was another one they wanted to go for. Number two on the maps, one, two, three, four, five. Now number, they're number five now for fruit trees, which is cool. Uh, they wanted to rank for mulch. Go see number three on the map, one, two, three, four, five. Now they're number five for mulch. Uh, it's funny because this is another website I actually worked on. I didn't realize we were competing for that keyword with the other website, but whatever, I think it's all good. I haven't worked on that other one in a while. And then I think they were ranking for some other stuff. Like, um, I don't remember. It was like gardening tools or something. Santa Barbara gardening tools. Yeah. So gardening tools, number one. And they actually got the map for that, which is cool. So they're starting to rank. And most of this content, we're just adding AI. We're just going in and we're generating. Like we generated that, generated that, generated all of this. Okay. So super easy. Um, let's go into the beta version of Shine Ranker so we can go uh, do this for some more pages. But this time again, we're going to be working on a national website. So we're going to go to the uh, Shine Ranker beta. I love these videos, by the way. Thanks, Chase. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. Hey, Chase, should we use AI content? Does Google rank it? And, and that's what we're doing right now is, you know, I'm actually testing this on real clients' websites. I'm getting paid real money to do this. So yes, they, they all have been ranking. Um, Saad says, can you offer the monthly subscription just in case people want to try it? Yeah, so if you go to shineranker.com, you can get a free trial for 10 days and then you can get the monthly subscription for 75 bucks a month. 
That's if you don't want to commit to a year. It's a lot more expensive, but that's the other option. So, um, all right, so we're going to go into the website. So what I need to do is I'm actually going to pull up the keyword map. Let me actually take this out for a second because I need to bring up this Google Doc. And if you know anything about um, the way I do things, I, I start out with the conversion tracking, I set up the call to actions, and then I do the keyword mapping and make sure that all of the keywords are apparent uh, for what we need to go for. And one of the things I actually wanna to add to this tool in the near future is an automatic keyword mapper. And what that means is it's gonna pretty much go in and, oops, I just kicked myself out of the document, that's great. Um, what it's gonna do, well, I guess I'll just map this again with you guys. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna do what I'm about to share, share with you because I just kicked myself out of the document. So when you go to Search Console, let me go to Search Console, go to pay, uh, your pages or your search traffic. Here's our search traffic. We can download all of our pages. Now, the one thing that this doesn't do though, is it doesn't map the keywords for you. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna figure out what keywords and what pages need to rank, okay? So it's a pretty simple process. All you do is you take your main pages like this. And by the way, in order for us to do this with the tool, we would end up having to do some sort of um, some sort of API call Google Search Console, but that shouldn't be too hard. All right, so we're gonna view, freeze, top row. And now we got all of our main pages, right? So we wanna figure out what each of these pages should rank for. So all we have to do is click into the page, grab the keyword or grab the, sorry, grab the page, go filter by that page in Search Console, and then we'll see the top keywords that it's showing up for, okay? So we got, this is the main keyword, okay? Boom, grab it, bring it in here, and now that keyword is mapped, okay? And then we wanna do that for all of the main pages. But what I wanna do is I wanna build a tool that automatically does this for you because it would take out a lot of this time investment that you have to have in order to do this. All right, so next one, we got the home page. This one's, I already know it's military challenge coin. This one, it was, uh, go click on it, pages. This one, queries, um, carpe diem, that's what it was. Go to the next one. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty quick, but it would be cool to have a tool that just goes and just does all of this automatically for you in like two seconds. This is the next one. Okay, so let's just take a couple of these. We're gonna start with these. <clears throat> now we've already, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> um, so we already did this with a few of these pages. We're gonna do it with this one now. So black beard flag meaning. So let's go into the site. We're gonna go into Shopify. I'm still not completely sold on. I'm not sure if I'm 100% on board with the whole Shopify thing, but it is what it is. Is there any differences with local keywords like Santa Barbara in front? What do you mean? If, of course there's a difference, but what do you mean? That, what In re, what regard is there any difference? Competition, search rates. All right, we're gonna go blog post. We're gonna go find that blog post. Black beard flag meaning. Okay, let's just type in black beard. Okay, here we go. Let's go to here. What was black beard's flag? So we're gonna actually change this to black beard, whatever the keyword is. So you just take the main keyword, put it to the left. Black beard flag meaning. Boom, like that. And then as far as the content, we're gonna take all the content. Now, I don't know how to switch to regular. Is there a way to switch to regular uh, content here instead of this weird code? 
you would think that um, with uh, how big Shopify is, they'd have this be a little different, <clears throat> like have like an in in page editor. But I guess they don't. Um, so let's take all this content. Copy it. Go to the content editor. We're going to do Blackbeard, whatever the keyword is, Blackbeard flag meaning. Create, let it load. Ooh. Ooh. Take a stretch. All right, plug this in. So we got a 41 out of 100 score. Now what I like to do is I like to go to the um, to the actual search. So I'll go type in black beard flag meaning. And we got all these questions, right? Why do seals use black beards flag? <clears throat> um, what does black Beards flag no quarter mean. What was this? <clears throat> Why was a, a pirate crew sometimes called a motley crew? So these all these questions, right? So let's do this. Why do seals use black beards flag? See if we can get something good from that. Okay, I mean how you search you put Santa Barbara mulch or mulch Santa Barbara is like what I do for CCTV installation, Chicago. I was wondering if there's a difference. Um, but what do you mean? Like what do you, in terms of competition, is there a difference? Like, I don't know what you mean. Is there a difference? Is there, a, well, one's in Santa Barbara and one's in Chicago. The Blackbeard flag is most likely a symbol to the pirate's name, Blackbeard. Blackbeard was a notorious pirate. Okay, so these are all, this is all information relevant to what we want to show up for. So we're going to say, go up here, put this. Boom. All right, let's get the next question. So that went up a little bit. So let's go to the next one. Um, we're going to go take, what was the biggest pirate ship called? Okay. Do that. Go back over here. Type out what was the biggest pirate ship called. Make it a H2. So you can see it's pretty simple, right? You're just taking the, the commonly asked questions, creating new H2s or subheadings, and then printing it out. Um, now, one thing that we're having a problem with, you can see, look at this. It started talking about Blackbeard's flag again, even though we put something else in here. Oh, wait. Hold on. I guess I didn't change that. Let me put this here. I'm very good in other areas, but I'm still learning SEO, and that is why I follow Chase. Trying to learn from his experiences so I don't make as many mistakes. That is smart. Okay, look, that just brought up the, the score to 65. The, the biggest pirate ship called Blackbeard was a replicate pirate ship. Okay, cool. So we got all that. Um, just get that there. Take the next question. What does the Jolly Rat, what was the, was the Flying Dutchman a real ship? We'll do that. Boom, boom, boom. So you can see this is pretty simple. I mean, you can train people on this pretty quickly, right? Go grab that, make it an H2. And then we could actually end up having pictures for each of those as well, because you can see we want more images. The position of the local word of location. Do you mean having Santa Barbara in the front of the keyword and then in the back of the keyword? Ernest Hemingway was the, um, the Flying Dutchman is a mythological ship. Okay. 
relationship was based on the story. Okay. All right. And and the cool thing is a lot of this information is factually correct. Like if you check it a lot of for some reason it it's able to pull factually correct information. And then we can take all of this as well, the the content we're spitting out and we can go check it on Copyscape. I was I was hoping to get like some sort of Copyscape integration as well, but I almost don't even know if it's necessary just because like it takes 2 seconds to sign into Copyscape. But then we have to have Copyscape as a tool. But there you go. Look, all unique information. Um, let's see what else we got. How many ghost ships are in the ocean? Okay, great. Super easy. Make that an H2. Um, the difference is one might have a higher search rate than the other. So I would probably go for the one that has a higher search rate. All right. There are many ghost ships in the ocean. Most famous of the ghost ships is the Flying Dutchman. All right. Um, what's the strangest thing about a ghost ship? Okay. And we do this exact same thing as well with our um, with the with the, the garden site or a local site or anything that you're doing. I mean, you're just answering a bunch of questions with the page. Um, I think one thing that would be cool is to have automatically pull from the suggested questions API and then just click on the questions and it'll just automatically add it into this the document. That'd be pretty dope. My fault. I was trying to do my best to explain that, Chase. No worries. It's all good. The Blackbeard flag... Great Depression. Wait, did I? Sometimes AI can be a little weird. So just out of curiosity, um, here, I'm gonna open up a new one. Just out of curiosity, how many of you who are watching have the, um, oops, have the annual plan to shine ranker, press one, press two if you're just using the free trial, press three if you're not doing any of that. How's your journey going? Oh, not too bad, I like it here. So for some reason, um, one of the things that I do, um, with this AI is I create a new page because sometimes the, the AI will reference what's already in the document and then it'll keep spitting out the same answer. And then you can see some things that the AI just doesn't, isn't able to answer. So it's better to do like factually relevant information than it is like an opinion. Meaning of Blackbeards. Let's see. I think we got most of the questions. Let's just type in ghost ship. We'll probably get more. Okay, lots of ones. Lots of people have the tool, the annual subscription already. Long live RTD2. Diego doesn't have the tool yet. What the heck? Go grab it, Diego. Met, uh, Cosmic Consciousness has the annual plan. Dante doesn't have the tool yet. Go get it. And if you'd like to try it out, like I said, just go to shineranker.com, go grab the 10-day free trial, go try it out. Um, so by the way, if you if you don't see enough questions here, if you just click on them, they'll start giving you more. Um, you can also go into the, I think, I think we're good for now. That it, we definitely increased the score. And by the way, one of the things that I want to mention is that um what most people don't real really realize is that it's better to have like to update the content frequently than to do like a massive update. And what I mean by that is um, you, 
if you put content into the page and then you request to get it indexed and then you go back and let's say it's not ranking yet and you go back and you add more content and then you go back and you add more like over and over, what you're going to notice is that you're going to start ranking higher and higher the more times you keep updating the content. So it's better to do like a block. Like that's what we did with our web design site in Castle Rock. Uh, what I would do is I would add, and this was all AI content, by the way, let me show you. So this was all AI content. What I would do is I would go in, I would add like, let's say all of this with AI, and then I would request to get indexed. And then it would rank number on page two. And then I would go in, I would add another couple of blocks. Okay. And then I'd request to get indexed and it would rank on the bottom of page one. Then I'd go in. So Google likes to see that you're updating your content. And so what I like to do is just like, don't even go to the hundred percent mark yet on, on shine ranker, go to like 70 or 80, submit it, see how it does. And then add some more if it's still not ranking, just give Google signals over time. Yes, exactly. So for, in for instance, we just added some more content to this. We really need to remove the, the, the brand showing up in all the titles. I don't know how to do that, but we, we should do that at some point. Um, so what we would do is we go into search console, grab that, plug it in, request indexing. Now one thing, so the biggest problem with this website, to be honest with you, it's not even really the lack of content or keywords. I mean, that's one of the things, but I mean, it's ranking right for this keyword. I think it's ranking. Let's say, what was it? It was like number two or three. Going to a different search console because they, I don't understand why they take so long to request to get indexed. Um, let's go into here, here. So if we look at that keyword, we look at that page. And look at average position, position four, okay? So the thing is though, is most of these keywords, they're showing up for like one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five. Oh, it looks like they went down for it. That's kind of crazy. And I haven't worked on this page yet, so it wasn't my fault. Um, but if we look at this page here and click into it, this is their biggest issue right now. So the site's for some reason not loading and it's killing their rankings. And even if you do get to the post, let me show you this. Let's say you get to the post. You got this big old image and you got this sidebar. It'd be better to have the image pulled to the right text, like have a full width page, right? With no sidebar here have the image pulled to the right and then just have, like you shouldn't have to scroll this far to get text. And then on top of that, oh, we should have capitalized those words. On top of that, um, one of the biggest issues is that there's really nothing for the people, like what are they gonna do? They're gonna go and read the posts and leave. So there needs to be some sort of reason why people go to these posts, okay? Now, one thing I actually wanna do, let me actually go do this really quick. I'm gonna go change the home page. Because let's go to pages. I'm gonna go to home. Where is that home page? So one other thing I don't like about this is you don't get like a um, visual layout. What I mean by that is like um, on most CMSs you can, you don't have to go in through this to find the page. You can actually just click on the page. Like you, you can see the page, right? This is to me a little bit crazy. I don't even know where the homepage is. Let's see, where is, like even with WordPress, which I'm, as you guys probably know, I'm not a fan of, you can go in and just click on edit when you're on the homepage and it'll let you edit it. We find home. Maybe if we go to navigation, we can find it.
Well. What theme is the Castle Rock web design site, Chase? Oh, it's just a um, Squarespace theme. So we want to change this here to a um, – we want to change it to a link to their best-selling products. But this might actually be a thing like with this site, there's some sites where I can only really audit them and tell people what's wrong as far as like going in and, and doing like the design or any of that stuff. Like this is something that I'm just like probably not going to touch also because I just don't want to mess with it. Like I don't want to mess it up. Right. So. But yeah, I think the biggest issue right now besides the, you know, getting all those keywords done, like I just showed you is that speed and then the um the other thing which was the uh getting all of those pages linked to their best selling products is there a reason why my search console doesn't show that search results tab you have on the left um it should so if you go to search console it should say performance and if it doesn't then you might not have full access to the property I'm using the monthly sub at 75. I didn't have the yearly discount available when my period ran out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so I would probably, if you're paying 75 bucks a month, it would be a lot cheaper to do the 297. Mm -hmm. Hey, is it a good idea to get all the reds to green? Probably a dumb question. Um, not a dumb question. Uh, yeah, I mean, you would want to do that, but it, it also depends on your priorities. So like biggest priorities with most websites, get the call tracking set up, uh, or get the conversion tracking set up, start optimizing for conversions. Like for instance, with this site, I've been telling them like biggest thing is go through all of the main pages, add buttons that go to your best selling products. Because the first thing you want to do is just increase the amount of money that the website's getting because then they can pay for your services. Right. And then after that, then you can start working on get, building more traffic. So let's go here. Let me, Go really quick to my other project. And I log in. So if I'm seeing this correctly, your AI content writer is built into ShineRanker. Yeah, so if you go here, you can see um, in our content editor, the thing that takes all the averages, um, the content editor, or sorry, the generator is right there. So you just type in the thing, it generates the content in it. All right, so let's go to the local website. What plan do you have for call tracking? Um, what do you mean? What plan? I just have like the agency set up so that way I can track multiple projects in one agency account. All right, so if we go into into the tool in the into one of the projects, I started mapping out the different pages. So as you can see, Santa Barbara Nursery, I've, I made the status done for now, meaning that I pretty much feel like for what we've done so far, um, the page is pretty optimized content-wise. Next thing is really just getting um, probably citations built. That would be the next big thing for this site. and getting a new design, that would be awesome. But I'm pretty sure the citations are gonna be a big play here. Let's actually go see site pro, oops, site pro garden supply. Yeah, so only 35 citations. So that's gonna be a big thing if we can build those. Um, 
We also need, you can see we have no page for some of these other um, keywords. So I think I'm gonna go build those right now. So Santa Barbara plants is one. So we're gonna go to the website and we're gonna go log in. Go build this page with uh, AI. I think I'm paying monthly for Shine Ranker. I need to check. It came with a course or bundle you sold, I think. Well, and if you don't know and you're confused, um, feel free to email us, support at chasefinder.com or support at shineranker.com. We'll get you we'll get you fixed whatever with whatever whatever's going on. Is there a way in Shine Ranker after you do keyword research with three keywords to add more keywords that, to the current search and not start over erasing all keywords in a current search? Well, you can add your keywords to your dashboard, but you're saying add more keywords within that keyword. I don't think so. Within the, because you would just you would just track the keywords you want and then go do another search. Curious to see. I want to see really quick what the conversion rates look like since we started putting buttons here. Google business call, 33% increase. Call from website, 100% increase. Goal completions, 42% increase. Goal value has gone up. So yeah, conversions are going up. It's still really early to see, but it's pretty apparent. Um, okay, so we're gonna go into pages. We're gonna go build a new page because we wanna rank for that other keyword, remember. We're gonna do add new. We're gonna get that keyword in Shine Ranker. So Santa Barbara plants, Santa Barbara plants. Let's go create a new crawl here. Content editor, give me a second. Be right back. Let me get some water. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and start getting some of the content written. So again, the keyword was Santa Barbara plants. Let's go find the questions. Santa Barbara plants. What plants grow in Santa Barbara? Okay, there we go. See if we can pull the information for it. I'm not sure if it will or not, we'll see. Santa Barbara is home to many different plants and flowers. Some of the plants grown in Santa Barbara are fig trees, palms, ivy, sagebrush, and cacti. Let's see. We also have these things, but I'm sure those other things grow as well because I used to live there and I remember cactus being there. Looks good to me. So we're gonna grab that. That'll be our first part of the page. We're also gonna make the first part, we need an introduction introduction uh, paragraph as well. So let's do this as the H1. And our plants. And we're gonna just, we'll see if we can pull anything just for that, let's see. Still figure out, I still can't figure out why I can't see that performance tab. That's annoying, I'm not sure why. You probably, like I said, you probably don't have um, ooh, this is good. You probably don't have full access. That's probably what it is. 
Apologies if you answered this, Chase. When will the AI editor be available? Um, like I said uh, earlier, the uh, my developers told me that it should be out at some point today. I don't know what time exactly, but it'll be out today. What plants live in the California coast? What can I plant now in Santa Barbara? Let's do what live on the California coast. Um, California coast, cool. So what are we at? We're at eight. And you could probably get away with, if this is your first um, version of the page, you can probably get away with, you know, 50, 50 out of a hundred score. What fruit trees? This tool is amazing. Isn't that cool? <laughs> What's even more amazing is that it ranks too. Boop, 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 citrus trees, awesome. Right. Can fruit trees grow in shade? Um, let's see if we can get some other related stuff. So we can kind of multiply these as well because we can grab that, put that in there, and then we'll get more questions. What plants, what grows well? Will you be adding a content rewriter? That might be something that we'll do. But I mean, this is so easy. I don't know why we'd want to make it even easier like or any different. Put an image with an alt text in the page. Google likes that. Well, according to John Mueller, alt text doesn't rank pages, which is, seems odd to me that he would say that. The city of Santa Barbara. Okay, grab some more stuff. Um, Seems like we kind of ran out of stuff here. So then we can kind of be more specific or yeah, we could be more general. So we could just say, um, what was the, so we could just do Santa Barbara or we could do just plants. What are the most popular plants? And ideally, we'd have images for each of these. <laughs> it would be cool to have like an AI image generator for all of, the, all of this, or just like something that automatically pulls images. <laughs> regarding rank and rent and regarding rank and sell using dial hawk and mass saturation of marketers doing it, what is this, what size of the city population would you aim at? It's more about the end title. So like when you go and check the keyword difficulty with Shine Ranker, I would just go for easy keywords. That's what I would do. Because if low, if there's low amount of people using the keyword in their titles, then chances are it's going to be pretty easy to rank for. The most popular plants in Santa Barbara are figs. See, it's referencing the previous... Um, the previous content in the post, which is weird. All right, let's just grab that for now. Let's see how it does. That's like a 16. I'll just start the page. We'll go to here, boom. Santa Barbara plants.
most popular plants in SB? I'm curious to see how fast this one ranks. Publish. We're going to request to get it indexed. I'm not even going to link it in the menu either because I just want to see. We need to make that a full, full scale post. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna request to get this index, see what happens. Ideally there'd be images in it, but whatever. What's the best size for the images? Um, what do you mean? Like, what's like dimensions? Or are you talking about like size in terms of like how, how many gigs or megabytes? Traffic's going up, that's for sure. Dimension pixel size. Um, I don't know, I usually like 250 by 250 or something like that. So ideally what we would do is we'd also generate, so you can see we have a page for it now, plants, Santa Barbara plants. And we can say this one's in progress now. And then we'd go and do the next one. So we'd go create that page, we'd go create all of these pages. And all of this is just from the keyword research we did in ShineRanker, okay? So we got a bunch of other pages. I'm just gonna hand it to my team to do this, but um, just by building all these other pages, we'll probably rank for them pretty quickly. And we're just gonna keep pushing more and more traffic. And that's pretty much it. So, um, if you haven't already, like I said, go to uh, chasereiner.com and go grab the Shine Ranker annual pass. So you get the AI content generator and all the new updates. Um, I think you're going to really, really like the tool and all the updates that are coming. And if you already have the tool, I'm excited to hear what you think about all of the, uh, the new things we're adding in. And that's it for today. So we'll see you in the next one. Until we do, happy SEOing. We'll see you guys.